this is going to be a real short video, uh, I believe. Uh, so let me look here. I've got two videos or two files. One of them being a video. Let's play that video. And as you can see, it's a video I used in the last tutorial. Um, we're, I'm filming from a car, and you can hear the sounds of the car. Last time we removed the audio and replaced the audio. But let's say you want to work on the volume. Now, a few months ago, a lot of viewers were complaining that my audio that I was recording was too low. I've gotten that problem taken care of, by, but back then, uh, I already had recorded a bunch of videos that were low in volume, and I wanted to boost the volume. I didn't want to have to go into an editor for each one and and resave it and recompress it. So let me show you how we can... Uh, boost the audio or even lower the audio if we need with FFmpeg and not lose any video quality. So that was an MPEG video. So we're going to say FFmpeg-i in the name of that video file. We're going to say dash V codec copy. So that's going to copy the video instead of recompressing it. So we're not going to lose any video quality. And now all we have to do is tell it two things. How loud we want it to be and what we want the final video to be called. So we're going to say dash vol for volume and we will boost the volume higher the number the better we're going to say or higher the not necessarily higher the better higher the number the louder it is we'll say vol we'll say 1000 that is a good number to start with if you have a low volume video such as this. I'll say output dot mpeg I'll hit enter it's very quick to do it we'll say M player we'll say play the output file and as you can see the audio that humming from that video is much louder now at the same time we can take the original video again and we can put it up to 2000 instead of 1000 and this time it's going to get a little distorted because it's going to be so loud uh, yes override the last output file and we'll just play that video again So you can hear it's it's definitely louder now, but it's a little distorted. So you may not want to go that loud. It all depends on how loud you want it to be and how loud it starts off at. I find a thousand is a good number to start off here. So once again, FFmpeg your input file, your video codec in this case at least, and I would try this, you know in any case and see how it turns out is copy that way you don't lose any video quality and we'll say vol and in this case we did 1000 to raise it if we go 100 it will lower it uh, a little bit so let's do that yes we'll override that we'll play the file and you can see it's it's I don't even know if you guys can hear it in the microphone it's definitely much lower than the original uh, volume is at and we can even go lower we can go down to 10 and play it again and I can barely hear it now so I know you guys aren't hearing it at all so um I, what level does the audio actually start at I really have no clue but like I said try a thousand if you need to boost the audio in a video try a thousand and see how that turns out now at the same time you can do the same thing with an audio file. So let's play an audio file here. We got this uh, uh, drill wave file. Okay, we'll stop that. Let's uh, go ffmpeg dash input our drill file. We'll say dash a codec copy. So we're copying the audio so it doesn't have to be recompressed. And we'll say vol, we'll say 1000, and we'll say uh, output dot wave. We'll play that. Oh, it says frames are not decoded. Uh, just reading that out message. Yeah, it didn't like that. Let's try not doing that, and we'll say dot mp3. See what it says. Okay. Well, it wouldn't let me just copy the wave file over, but uh, we're creating an mp3 file now, which hopefully will have the boost 
boosted audio file. So we might lose a little bit of quality because we converted to an M MP3 file, but let's play output.mp3. And that was definitely louder, and it's already disturbed because the volume on that was pretty good to begin with. Um, let's go again. Let's set it to 100. Override that file. Let it convert it. It's a three-minute song, so it takes a couple of seconds here to convert. And let's see what it how it does at volume 100. And. It's a little bit lower than the original, and once again, that one started off with a decent volume. Um, so I don't know why I couldn't just copy the codec over. Let's try something here real quick. We'll create an output MP3 without changing the volume, and see if we can uh, increase the volume and copy with an MP3. This video is actually going to be a little bit longer than I expected. So we'll go M player, oh, M player. Output MP3. So that's the MP3 at the original volume. So let's go FFmpeg dash input output MP3 and we'll say uh, audio codec copy. So hopefully it won't recompress it. It's just going to copy it over, but we're going to change the volume of it to 1000 and we'll say output 2.mp3 okay so if you're you can't just copy the audio if you're going to change the volume it's got to recompress it is basically what it comes down to so um, whether you convert it to an mp3 or another WAV file uh, you just can't copy it because it's got to recompress it if it changes the volume but uh, just remember that you do FFmpeg, your input, volume, and your output. And I find that if the volume is low on a video and you want to boost it up, start at 1,000, see how that sounds. If it's too low, go a little higher. If it's too loud, go a little bit lower. So that's working uh, with modifying the volume on a video or audio file uh, with FFmpeg. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. The link is in the description for more video tutorials like this and I hope that you have a great day.